Hey Virgo, welcome back to your weekend love reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. If you're new, welcome. Keep in mind this is a general weekend love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Hold on. Uh, all signs are welcome though. Okay. All right, Virgo, let's get into your weekend reading. <clears throat> oh my goodness. You had this yesterday. So you've got engagement ring. Okay. I feel like I should have made this brighter, but that's all right. We'll make it work out. You've got the gauge engagement ring for uh, Friday. And it's also happy Independence Weekend for you guys. Happy 4th of July. You also have dates. Friday and Saturday. Somebody's going to offer you an engagement ring and then they're going to want to date you. Just kidding. Um, okay. Oh, you've got the butterfly. All right. Relationship. Oh, Virgo, you're turning down an engagement ring or an engagement offer. Okay. No, you're not. Okay. Virgo, listen to me. You got a date on this weekend. You got a date. <laughs> if you don't have a date, someone's asking you out on a date. Okay. Um, You're going to meet the one. That's all I'm saying. You're, you're this weekend. I know. I know you guys come back and you're like, oh, that's what you said last weekend. Listen, just listen. If you're listening to my readings every single weekend and expecting that to happen to you every single weekend, how does that even make sense? Do you know what I mean? Just take it with a grain of salt. Okay. Hear what you hear. Enjoy the reading. And if it happens to you, then come back and say, hey, guess what? That came true. Okay. Um, I just feel like, like if you, if you go and play, you know, roulette, you're not going to hit every single time. Okay. So you got to kind of look at it like that. Right. So yeah, you're going to be connecting with someone. Either you're going to get asked out on a date, um, or you will be going on a date with someone. And this is going to be, this is going to be someone that this relationship is going to evolve. Okay. Look, this is so weird because it's just like yesterday with this, or no, the day before, the star the star card. Some of you are going to meet a celebrity over this weekend who will ask you on a date. Okay. All right. Yes, this is dating. Oh my goodness. Virgo. This is lovely. Okay. So for some of you, it's going to be an Aquarius who's just going to be showing up at your door with some flowers or uh, meeting you somewhere where you guys make plans to meet okay connecting it might be like also connecting with friends and uh, if you're connecting with friends over the weekend you're going somewhere where they paint butterflies on children's faces something like that or just out um, I feel like you're gonna get asked out Okay. If you already have a date planned, uh, this is going to be a beautiful, a beautiful connection, uh, a, a relationship that can evolve to the next level for sure. Look at all this energy. This is lovely for the weekend. You've got the page of cups. You're definitely going to be getting some calls or communications or texts. Um, maybe you'll get an apology from someone over this weekend as well. And this person's like, let's get engaged or says yes. If you ask. Okay, this is like a brand new love situation starting or a, a brand new love journey is how I feel more. There's healing, there's renewal, um, renewal of spirit, renewal of a relationship, um, a hope, hope being restored in love. I love this. I love it. Okay, for some of you, this is a fire sign. All right, King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. So you have a date with a fire sign over the weekend. I feel like it's going to go well. Something beautiful is going to happen here. This this fire sign, let me just tell you, <clears throat> fire signs are go-getters. They, they, they don't skimp on things. They're, if they want it, they go and get it, and they make it known. Um, they don't have a problem with... <laughs> <laughs> proposing on the first date they they're just like they get that fiery passion in them and when they know and they want someone they go after it yeah absolutely so for some of you this is a re restoration of a relationship with someone who's a fire sign okay um the relationship starts evolving um so this could be like renewing a a past relationship or renewing vows or renewing the love as well and for others this is somebody new 
This is somebody coming in here who, um, like where you're meeting someone new or you're dating, getting back out there, planning and setting a date. Beautiful energy for a date. Beautiful. Okay, look at that. Two of Cups is showing up there as well. Yeah, there's definitely like after some kind of heartbreak for some of you. All right, it could be like if you dated this person before, for some of you, this is like a new start from some argument or an apology or coming back together, going out on a date, somebody proposing for others. The other message is that um, this you or and or this person getting over some heartbreak situations with other people or someone else in the past and <clears throat> moving forward very fast in uh, something here. I definitely feel like there's going to be a toast as well. Maybe there's an engagement party you're going to as well. Um, and this might not be about you, but you might meet somebody at an engagement party. If, if you find out about it this weekend or you're attending it this weekend, some of you are going to a party <clears throat> and you actually have a date and, and this date turns into something more or there's someone else going to a party and they need a date and you go and this turns into something very beautiful. I mean, I just, I feel like six, seven minutes of this weekend reading is pretty much enough. Um, now tell Virgo more about this fire sign. Who is this fire sign? Okay, I'm not gonna take those. If it shows up again, it shows up again. Who is this fire sign? Now just keep in mind, it could be sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I always like to say um, focus on the Venus sign more because that's the sign about love and relationships and partnerships. Okay. This person's a dreamer. Um, fantasy, dreamer, non-committal, that's for sure. And they've always been that way. Let me see. Uh, this person is not someone who's been... Uh, confined to one person <laughs> i gotta say it no they're not a player because it's king of wands king of wands is generally not a player um they're pretty straightforward but i feel like this person just has not ever met the one for them okay um they've had, they have a lot of options i'll tell you that a lot of options what else what else what else what else can you tell virgo spirit please about this king of wands okay oh this is someone who's on the cusp of leo and virgo you um might meet someone similar to you um but also i feel like they're pretty much a loner okay i feel like this person is pretty much a loner okay they've always been keeping to themselves and they've dated other people i don't really feel like this person um has a family behind them or children I, I don't get that energy. I feel like this person just kind of keeps to themselves, always in hermit mode. They date other people, but they don't commit to anything. They haven't committed to anyone, really. Um, now some of you might know this as someone you knew before, but others, this is somebody completely new coming in. Um, let me see. What else can you tell Virgo? All right. Two of Swords. Hmm. So I also feel like this person's really good at making decisions and they're really good at making compromises as well. That's that's something about their personality, the way they come in. And what else? Oh, King of Pentacles. So they also um, have this energy of a very good business person. Um, they're very responsible and dependable financially. It could also be another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, they also like to do things. They're very adventurous. They have a lot of great ideas. Um, they run some kind of like adventure, adventure ink, or they, they run some kind of like they go on adventures. But they have a business. So they might be, there's someone who's a little, like they run the business aspect of their company, I'm hearing. But they also, like, they parachute, they rock climb, um, they deep sea dive. This person's very adventurous. But they have an adventure type of a business. These are very specific messages. Um, yeah, okay. I, I just feel like I just needed to tell you that. Um, so they're also like someone that goes out on the adventures, but they also manage and run the business and they, they have pretty 
good amount of money. Okay. Let me see what else do you need to know, Virgo. Oh, shit. Some of you. Someone that you knew from before. Um... But they're also very sincere and kind. But like I said, I don't know. I kind of feel like this person, they are just used to living a single life. That's how they've been living their life. They've had love offers. They have lots of options. They've had love offers, but um, they've just kind of been apathetic to settling down and committing to the whole, you know, get the what do they call it like to the whole like getting settling down getting married having kids starting a family this person is just operated as like kind of a loner maybe like i said they could be famous and they've lived their life like that or, or they're well known for something that they've done but something tells me that something's gonna change here um when you guys connect for them and uh, let me see What's going to change? I mean, I, I definitely feel like there's going to be this. I, I feel like they date people, and but that no committed relationship. So if they say, well, I broke up with someone, they didn't really break up with them. They just were like, nah, and just ended. I feel like this person's had a lot of casual relationships, honestly, <clears throat> because their, their life adventures and, and work and all that kind of stuff has always been more important to them and no one they, they never wanted to commit to anybody here um because no one would put up with it <laughs> they could they were looking for someone to meet them in what they do someone who wanted to go for the adventure with them and nobody would i feel like this person every person that they've connected with has wanted to just turn them and mold them into something that they're not this person is just a thrill seeker that's how they've lived their lives okay so why connecting with Virgo is this person like what's going on here what is the change Ooh, eight of cups because you're willing because you're willing <laughs> you're willing to take the journey with this person you that this is something that I feel like would excite you I feel like Virgo, you're, you're like, I don't know what this, like, I don't know how, if you knew them before, if, if somebody knew, whatever the situation, it's irrelevant at this point. This, this, this is, this person connects with you, you connect with them. And there's something here with this eight of cups, like, you're totally like, yeah, I'll go on this journey. You know, let's go after that ninth cup, both of us, that, uh, that ultimate fulfillment, make those wishes come true. I feel like Virgo, you're willing to go on the ride with this person because it's exciting and it's fun. And it's, it's, it's like meeting your person. I mean, if it's like, if you guys are like hiking the top of Mount Everest, whatever it is, you're down. At least you're willing to be down with this. And, and, that here kind of opens this person's eyes and I don't know the choir angels come down and they're like oh this person's like I've met my person they're willing and daring to take this journey to take this ride with me ride or die yeah so this weekend looks pretty fascinating for go for you there's definitely a brand new beginning happening here a brand new start with someone now let me just give a caveat if you don't actually go out of your house this weekend it doesn't mean that you're not going to connect with this person at some point at least in july i feel or if there's some kind of party you're going to um or something uh, even if you remove all the specifics i feel like there's going to be a connection made with someone over this time period where it's it's <laughs> this person and you uh, go on this grand adventure together i, I just don't I just, I don't, there's travel involved here. A lot of travel as well. Okay, so, you know, whether you connect with this person online or you meet them or they, you go on a date with them or you plus one with them, there's some kind of spark that gets made here between you and this person. Okay, and this is like mutual feelings. Um, this is like two heads are better than one. This is like an understanding between two people. I feel like your weekend reading is like probably the best one I've given yet. So if you come back next weekend and you're like, hey, this didn't happen, like be patient. This is for someone. It may not be for all of you, but this is for someone. So this is a really short reading. I'm going to leave this here. As I said, mom's in the hospital. She's recovering at this point. But um, 
yeah, I'm kind of just been trying to keep it real short and sweet so I can get over there and help her out with everything I need to do and spend as much time with her for, through her after her surgery. So thank you all for being patient. Um, I will be back to my regular scheduled readings an hour or more. But I hope you guys have a fantastic um, 4th of July weekend if you're celebrating. I hope you have a nice sunny day and you get to see some fireworks. And I hope you have a great weekend also. I just needed to say, look at the fireworks. Oh, some of you are going to have this happening over the weekend for sure. Maybe with an Aquarius too. I just have to say that. But there's fireworks. There's fireworks this weekend. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you back here on Sunday. Love you. Bye. Shut